Hi, welcome to the MIP Discovery video series. I'm Francesco Canfarotta, Head of Chemistry at MIP Diagnostics, and in today's videos I'm going to be explaining why molecularly imprinted polymers work so well in sensor devices. In case you're not familiar with molecularly imprinted polymers, uh, they're usually referred to as MIPs, and they are synthetic antibodies that are chemically produced in a lab in a completely animal-free process. MIP Diagnostics specialize in a specific type of MIPs called the nano MIPs. These are uh, nanoscale molecularly imprinted polymers that have been designed and produced to have high affinity and specificity for a specific target of interest, and they're ideal for use as a receptor in sensor devices. Early forms of MIPs for use in sensor devices devices were first mentioned in research back in 1931, but it has been um, only in the last decade that research in this field has really accelerated. Today over 30,000 research papers on MIPS-based sensors have been published and this technology is now being commercialized uh, across the globe. So why are MIPS so well suited to sensor devices? One of the key advantages that MIPS have over traditional affinity reagents such as antibodies is their stability. Because of their chemical makeup, MIPs are extremely robust and can withstand extreme temperatures, pHs and pressures. To demonstrate this, MIP Diagnostics have carried out uh, various experiments, including autoclaving MIPs to 121 degrees Celsius and testing their affinity both pre- and post-autoclave. The results have shown a consistent affinity within experimental error, showing that the high temperature does not input their structure or performance. So these robust features enable MIP-based sensors to be used in various different settings, spanning multiple different industries. One such example is the oil and gas industry, where sampling sites are often in high temperature or high pressure locations. Natural biosensor receptors will perish in this type of environment, so samples are traditionally collected and sent for lab-based testing, with results uh, usually obtained within two to three days. Uh, MIPS, on the other hand, um, can be used on-site, which means results can be opted on almost instantly. Their robust characteristics also mean uh, the MIPS are much simpler to integrate into sensor platforms when compared with natural receptors such as antibodies or nucleic acids. MIPS are more easily coupled to uh, surface of electrodes, whereas natural receptors can deform or denature during the coupling process, which in turn can lead to gaps in uh, coverage on the sensor. Another great feature of MIPS um, that is enabled more sensor applications is that they can be generated to such a wide variety of targets. Traditional receptors such as antibodies, for example, are difficult to generate to small molecules or to toxic substances. But since MIPS are completely synthetic, they do not face these challenges. Types of targets range from small molecules of less than one nanometer in size, right through to whole viruses and bacteriophages of more than 400 nanometers. MIP Technostics have worked with several partners to demonstrate the results that can be achieved when using a MIP as a receptor in a sensor device. Dr. Marlon Peters' group at Newcastle University have used their thermal sensor platform to compare the performance of COVID-19 nanomips to monoclonal antibodies. The results show that a sensor device using MIPS could achieve a much greater sensitivity with a limit of detection of 5 femtogram per milliliter compared to approximately 105 femtogram per milliliter when using an antibody. Dr. Bala Group at Ulster University has integrated some um, the same uh, COVID-19 nanomips into their localized surface plasma resonance device and to test specificity of the nanomips, multiple variants of SARS-CoV-2 alongside other human coronaviruses were tested and the device was indeed selective to the SARS-CoV-2 variants only. Finally, Soterius, an Australian sensor developer, has also integrated the COVID-19 nanomips into their passive biosensor device, the Soterius Scout, which detects virus particles landing on the sensor surface and communicates these results to a smartphone or a reader. Users swipe the sensor fob on the reader as they enter or exit a hospital, school or a workplace and are immediately then alerted uh, to the presence of the virus. As biosensor devices based on molecular imprinted polymer continue to be developed and commercialized, we're set to see more sensitive and robust devices contributing to advancing healthcare and industrial applications in the years to come. Thanks for watching this short video. To learn more about other applications of MIPS, remember to check out the rest of the video in our MIP Discovery series, and please do get in touch to discuss your specific projects with our team.